the man in the mirror. Hey there, friendlies. How's up? It is the 5th of November, and I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. It is a spectacularly warm day today. It was very sunny. Clouds are in the sky, which is kind of better because it means I'm not squinting at you guys anyway. So, I got a little whiskey to uh, review for you here. It's a little uh, neck pour, and it is this. The Bendromic, uh, what's this? Contrasts Organic. Contrast is um, their line of whiskeys that are not quite what one would consider the traditional Bendromic, slightly uh, smoky flavors. Um, don't know a lot about this. Uh, I know that it's aged in first fill virgin oak. There's no age statement on it. But down here it says distilled 2012, bottle 2021. So come on, just put an age statement on it, right? That's a nine year. And it's, okay, so virgin oak, cast matured, bam, yeah, cool. The world's first certified organic single malt scotch whiskey. That's great, that means I can hug trees with a dram in my hand. Okay, I'm taking the piss, but I really am quite a bit of a tree hugger. Um, so yeah, um, I wanna, see what this is like and I'm trying not to I'm seeing if there's any information but like I'm afraid of looking at something and getting tasting notes right so let's look let's just take a look at it nice okay and are we yeah right there natural color non chill filtered okay I'm gonna call that a win let's get into it Swedish knife, Scottish dram, Canadian YouTuber. Highly international here today, folks. I'm excited to, oh, okay. What I was gonna say is I'm excited to get into this bottle because I bought it months ago. But my, uh, my schedule of late when it comes to filming and especially editing these vids is a little bit on the slow side. Life keeps getting in the way. Let's get into it. Because if it's essentially a nine year, I'm gonna pour it out and then we can chit chat a little bit, talk about the design. Okay, so first off design, what do I think of this bottle and box? Um, I guess I was a little cavalier shoot, throwing it away. Uh, I think, the, look, the box is printed to make it look like it's an untreated paper, and I think that's a little cheesy. Either do the untreated paper or not. Uh, it's, it's very nice, aside from that. I, I, think, uh, I think that this identity, this branding for Bendromic is very much nicer than the other one. When it first appeared, I was a little thrown, it's like red, big blocky kind of looks Soviet but I've gotten over that I think it's a very nice look um, the bottle is is very very nice as well interestingly there's a lot of stuff on here that's just like clearly this is localized this is where you've got your alcohol percentage your sizing product of Scotland um, there's no French on this box how the heck did they get that sold in Quebec and like, there's no insert. Interesting. What would I give this? Printing the label to look like it's unbleached paper. I would take a mark off for that. But aside from that, I think it's a very nice liveries. So I'd give this 79. Now let's put this back here and take a look at the glass. The color is very nice. Um, it seems dark for like a virgin oak, but hey, uncolored, unchill filtered. I wonder what the, uh, wonder what the toast level is of that, of that cask on the inside. Uh, I'm giving it the old swirly swirl to look for tears. Very nice. Not too many. I'm not expecting this to be uh, the most viscous scotch I've ever had, but it looks pretty good. Beautiful color. 
So let's nose it, shall we? For the nosing. This is 46%, so I'm not afraid to go in. Very nice. Uh, fruity, um, like a creamy, there's a banana, big banana hit. Very nice, kind of a very malty, malt sugar, kind of a baked goods kind of thing, almost like a, a, a brioche. Mm, yeah, like a sticky bun. A little spice in there. Baking spices though, not like a not like cardamom and stuff like that. It just smells organic. For nose? I just I really like it. I'm gonna give that nose an 84. Next step is the tasty poo on the palate. Okay, banana is still there, creamy, still very sweet, caramelly, butterscotchy, chocolatey, coffee like I very often get with scotch. This is like a mouthful of dessert, like a pudding, like a butterscotch pudding. I'm used to somebody slapping organic on something and it means that the apples are not pretty, or the bread is slightly crumbly. So I kind of came into this not expecting much. And this is someone who I tend to like organic. I tend to be a big time tree hugger. You know, I would love an electric car, you know, but that's, that's all politics. What I'm saying is I have low expectations when I see the word organic, and this is really good. Pepper, very peppery. But like the flavors are all, they just, they come together. Nothing is like scratching out at you or punching out or, or anything. Very nice. And it, it builds on the nose. There's no surprises there. I mean, there's, there are, there are other notes that come through, but they're within the motif that is set by the nose. This is on the palette. I'm going to give that an 85 for sure. Mm. Before we put water in this, shall we do the checklist? Okay, so for the checklist, what do we got here? This is a single malt scotch whiskey. It doesn't have an age statement on it, but it sort of does. Right there, it gives me the bottle date and the distilled date, which tells me this is a, a nine year um, transparency on the label. I'm going to give that the, the mark. So we'll call it a sort of age statement. Uh, we're at 46% alcohol by volume. So we're above the 45 that I need and natural color, non chill filtered right there on the label. That's full marks for the checklist. Now let's uh, drop a little water, shall we? Just to see, but I mean, this never mark, this never affects the mark, but it's just Good to know. Nothing too dramatic. Light little swirly swirl. Give it a second for the uh, volatiles to volatile. And then uh, the nose drops way down. Still getting a little sweet, but aside from that, it's just watery. No. Don't water this. 46%. It won't stand up to it. That's too bad, because now that's gone from something that I would enjoy for the next hour to something I'm going to get rid of. <clears throat> Last point, value. Yeah, um, for something with a quasi age statement on it, this was under 100 bucks where I live. I don't know, your, your mileage may vary. But uh, this is a good value because it's tasty. Um, it doesn't have the usual organic uh, price bump. I'm going to call that an, uh, for value, I'm going to call that an 87. So that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this little whiskey uh, review. As I always say, if you like what I'm doing, do the following three things. One, comment down below. What's your favorite Pendromic? 
Two, share this. It helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.